already in full swing and I figured I'd do what's in my tech bag. Did one of these a couple years ago and I really like going back and seeing what's changed and what's remained the same. And I do remember when I filmed that video, I really wanted to find a new tech bag. I had that backpack for over 10 years, so it, it did me just fine. I've actually been using this for about a year and a half, maybe up to two years now, and I've been really happy with it. And it's the Air SF City Pack backpack and I've been so, so happy with it. There's so many compartments and I really love the material that it's made and it really has been holding up its shape quite well. That was kind of one of my things I did not like about the other bag that I had for about 10 years. Got a little slumpy and mumpy. This guy could fully stand erect and it, it, it is packed to the brim of tech. So as we go ahead and take a closer look at the bag, this is a 14 liter bag. They do have a larger size if you do want a bigger one. But for me, my size, I'm only 5'3". This 14 liter is just perfect. The material is ballistic nylon. The quality, again, feels really good. It's been holding up its shape. The zippers, I do love all the zippers in this bag and there's a lot of compartments, which is why I really, really like it. Taking a quick look at the back here the padding is is smushy so it's also really soft and comfortable on your back so as you're walking around you know your back kind of like smacks you in the back so it's super soft there there's also a strap if you do want to strap it onto your luggage a lot of little hooks and things like that you could also hold it like this so that's also very nice and again compartment so we'll go ahead and get started with the compartment right here in the front Again, the zipper quality is absolutely fantastic here I do kind of slide it in my smartphone and it is the iPhone 15 Pro. I absolutely love it. I've been using it obviously ever since it's been released and it's been one of my favorite iPhones. Love the titanium, love the cameras and love that new, uh, the new feeling it has in your hands. I do have a leather case on it from Ander and it's, it's been also holding up really great. The patinaing is absolutely fabulous and I've also really loved the the natural smell of the leather so it's been great to keep my iphone protected i do like to upgrade every year so this year i've been actually using a phone case because i've I damaged my last phone and it's really hard to sell at a high value if you do damage your phone so this year i've opted for using this indoor leather case i do always use a, a polishing cloth so i always have one of these at the ready other than that if i am traveling flying i do slide my passport into this holder with my iphone but for today we just have vitamins so don't leave the home without them in case i'm eating out for lunch and need to supplement with vitamins but yeah so that's in that front punch there if we move along the front here the upper side there is another small little compartment which i also find very handy sometimes here i throw my keys sometimes i do also throw the iphone but in these cases i have two two earbuds and we have the airpods pro with the usb-c also protected with this leather ender case here so also really great smells just as good as the iphone case and the only real reason i do have a case on airpods is i feel like everyone has airpods and if you're at a table working at a table there's airpods galore and it's just really difficult to decipher which is your pair of ipods so that's why i do like distinguishing them with this case and i do carry around beats buds as you'll see as we do get deeper into the bag i do have a pc laptop that i use so that's why i really enjoy these and i'm really glad i gave these a chance i was a little skeptic because there's just little buds there but they do a really good job of actually staying in my ears sound quality is great and again they play well with windows pcs as well as iphones and macbooks so that's why i've absolutely have really enjoyed using these beats buds they've been absolutely great so i do carry around the, uh, both of them one dies i got the other one as a backup but going back to the bag so we're going to be going back and forth here today we do have water so i also like to hydrate health is a really big thing with me so that's why i also bring my supplements but i have this lark water bottle absolutely great so if you are traveling you know you're using those bubblers even though they say if they've changed that filter you cannot trust those stats so this helps keep your water clean so it's always going to be cleaning your water every two hours it'll do go through a cleaning process but it also if you hit once along the top there it'll start cleaning or if that water is really really sketchy you could hit it twice and in three minutes it'll go through a cleaning process so it really helps keeping your water bottle clean at all times and you don't get that 
that funky smell that you get along the top. To be honest, I never cleaned my water bottle. I, it was very, very rare when you could start actually seeing some things. That's when I would actually clean it, but we know bacteria you can't always see. And I just love the aesthetic of this white. White is kind of my thing, but I really have been enjoying this water bulb. All right, and we'll go ahead and start making our way into some of these large apartments. I do have an air tag here and there's an air tag inside. So I know anyone could just rip this off steal all of this tech and there's a lot of tech so i do have an extra one inside but i do kind of like having the air tag there mainly for aesthetic but when you're a tech person aesthetic is a big thing but we'll go ahead and make our way into the larger compartments where a lot of the actual tech actually lies i really love this front zipper you could really fold back and really see everything that's in there for you i do have pens highlighters pencils i am a little old and as for charging i do have two power bricks so i have the anchor power brick this does deliver 60 watts if this is kind of the one, if I am staying in a hotel, this one kind of just stays in the hotel room with me. And then I have my MacBook charger, which is 96 watts. And this is kind of my go-to stays in the bag. So if I am working, going out and about, this is the one that kind of does come with me. And this one stays in place in the hotel room. And then moving on to the inside of this compartment, it actually brings us to the product sponsor of this portion of the video and it's Cool Gadget. And Cool Gadget were kind enough to send over their Exco Cable Monster, which is a four-in-one solution of charging all of your tech. And Cool Gadget products range from lifestyle, beauty, and electronic accessories. And ever since the switch over to USB-C on the iPhone that we checked out earlier, the quantity of cords in my bag were getting out of hand because of course not everything switched over. The Exco Cable Monster allows you to switch between Lightning, USB-C, and even USB-A. And since the cable is made out of zinc alloy and durable nylon fabric, you won't need to worry about it fraying over time. And it's not always brick size that matter because even though this power brick is only 60 watt, it'll bring my laptop to about 50% and under 30 minutes and that's pretty crazy and the last point that i do want to make is again not all usb-c cables are built the same so i'm actually been using the x school monster cable to transfer footage from these cameras here to my macbook and even ssd cards at super fast rates i've actually even been using them to charge up my cameras so a super big thank you to the cool gadget team of course this and everything else we'll talk about will be linked down below as we start to explore some of the other tech all right and getting right back into it now, I don't always travel with one, but when I do travel with an iPad, it's gonna be the iPad Air. I've been using it for, I think, a couple of years. This guy's been out for a while. So again, I usually only travel with this if I'm flying for in-flight entertainment. So I download the YouTube videos, I download Netflix movies, things like that. You can't really do that on a MacBook unless you have internet. So that's when I usually travel with the iPad Air, which is, has been a really great device. Even over the pros, I do have that, but don't use it as often. Going to some of the bigger tech here. So this bag is able to carry two laptops. I don't always carry two laptops, but again, one is personal, one is for work. So my personal laptop, MacBook Pro, I do have a Dell XPS for work. Not gonna go over this too much, because again, it's a work device, but it is a really great, fantastic laptop. The MacBook Pro has been my saving grace for the last couple of years. If I have to ever name my favorite Apple device, it will always, 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 always just be the the MacBook Pro over any other iPhone tablet gadget vision pros I just love this device battery has been great love the build the screen is fantastic keys are great and it just doesn't let you down it's just so fast the the beach ball that we might be accustomed to if you're from like the 90s early 2000s it just doesn't exist it's been a great, great device. It did upgrade the storage, so I don't always use the SSD card. It is the M1 Max, so it's it's max to the max, and it's been holding up just fine, even with the twos, the threes. I absolutely love it. It's my child. I walk around with it everywhere. I have, again, if I could only have one Apple device, it will always be the MacBook Pro. All right, and digging in here for a little bit more tech. I do have this pouch here, this tech pouch from Side by Side. And if you watch this channel, you've seen this pouch appear many, many times because I've been using this for absolutely years. I love it. I love the fabric. It's elasticy, so it does stretch if you do like to pack this guy in here. There is a compartment here where it's not pictured right now because it's actually upstairs, but I do slide a Nintendo Switch in here from time to time. Again, if I'm traveling and I do want to use that for gaming, I, it, it fits perfectly in here and it keeps it well protected. More than that, I just use this as an everyday tech pouch for like tech emergencies, as you'll say. So I typically don't take anything out of this tech pouch unless I am traveling and I need it. So it's like a, it's an emergency kit. I do have a MagSafe battery pack uh, from Apple here. We have an SSD card. Again, 
have a lot of storage in my actual MacBook, but I do prefer to add it on the Mac Studio. I'll transfer the footage or even to add it onto here, and then I'll pick it up when I get home on a Mac Studio. We have a little zipper compartment here as well. Just little, little gadgets, little dongles, little adapters. Luckily, fortunately, we don't have to play that dongle life as much anymore but this is where I kind of store some of those uh, those gadgets here. So little dongles. And here we do have more cables. Again, I don't have any loose cables in my actual bag, just the actual monster cable. But if I'm staying in a hotel, I, I, I need to plug things in throughout the hotel room. So that's when I would use these. I have a dongle here that has an SD slot, which I don't really need because the MacBook has it, but I do need these little adapters here for USB-A from time to time. Again, not always. And I do have a smaller, a USB-C to USB-C cable here. This has 40 watts of transfer speed. So that Monster Cool cable has 100. This has 40, but I do like it because it's kind of short little baby. So now that we do have a lot of footage with the iPhone Pro raw footage, Apple raw, ProRes log, I do sometimes attach a SSD card, which is from Samsung, the, the rugged kind here. And this is how I store and save that footage with this T7 shield. Because unfortunately you can't shoot 60 frames a second ProRes log to the actual phone. You need to store it on a back device. So that that's why another reason why I do carry an SD card slot. And then we have the dual charger, which is also really great for hotel rooms because you could charge your iPhone and of course your Apple Watch, which I did not mention. I've been rocking the Apple Watch Series 6 for some time. Really want to get on that Apple Watch Ultra bandwagon, but it's just so big. Even this 41 millimeters, I'm like, it's kind of cutting it on my wrist because again, I'm not, not that tall, not that long. So that is the reason why I have not upgraded to the Ultra. And really, just like iPads, you do not need to upgrade all of the time. But back to the dual charger, this has been great. Now discontinued, but it's been absolutely super duper handy to charge things when you're on the go. Again, staying in a hotel room. And then last but not least here, I do have, actually second to last, I do have business cards. You never know who you're gonna meet, but I do have an Anchor portable charger. It has USB-C, USB-A, really great part into that monster cable. And it does hold a lot of batteries. So I could charge my iPhone up to one and a half times. So that has been super fantastic. But yeah, that's everything that's here in this tech pouch. Again, it's like my emergency survival kit. Always keep this just as is. So when I'm traveling, if I need to go somewhere, I just shove this in my bag. So it doesn't always live in my bag. But if I am going on a trip, it's like my survival kit. Just throw it in there and then I'm good to go. I don't have to worry about what did I bring this? Did I bring that? I know everything is in there. And then the final piece of tech that's not currently in my bag, but I do like to bring with me as often as I can is my Sony a7 IV, which I'm using to film right here, as well as the 24 to 70 lens, which is the G Master version two. Love the combo, love the resolution of the photos. Of course, I think the videos look great. So yes, it fits perfectly in this bag, even with everything else that we just saw. I don't carry it with me all of the time, but I really, really love this camera. Now I have to get all this tech back, put it back in here. It's actually sitting on the floor beneath me, but I just want to send one final thank you to Cool Gadget and the X Monster Cable for help making this video possible. Go ahead and comment down below what's in your everyday carry. And while you're down there, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and until next time, I'll see ya.